Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michael Malley here with the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion for June 23rd, 2022, around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including a new potential tropical cyclone forming in the tropical Atlantic over the next couple of days. Could it impact the islands and then move into the Caribbean? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic this afternoon, we noticed that a couple of things are beginning to happen we have a very strong, potent tropical wave right here. This big tropical wave that has now emerged off the coast of Africa over the past couple of days, aided by some additional disturbances over Africa. This will be moving westward over the next couple of days where development chances are on the increase uh, over in this part of the world, closer into the Lesser Antilles, including Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, etc. Some of these areas could be under the gun for a tropical cyclone threat by uh, early to mid next week. So uh, something to kind of keep in mind. We'll talk about more here of that in a second. In the tropical Pacific here, we have tropical storm Celia moving away from land. And then we have a new system back here with a 20% chance of developing over the next five days as this kind of just meanders around and probably will eventually kind of head on the same trajectory as Celia. And then in the Atlantic Basin, we have a tropical disturbance that is located right about here. And it is moving uh, over here towards the west. And this is the formation area you can see. So far, the Hurricane Center gives this area a 20% chance of development over the next five days as it nears the Lesser Antilles. Now, so far, there is no uh, outlook right now for the Antilles, and, and but this is certainly coming in that general direction and is certainly something to monitor. So let's go ahead and talk about that. First of all, based on all of the forecast models from this afternoon, uh, really that this morning's run, the 12Z guidance, all of them do support this becoming a tropical depression. And then all of them go to support this becoming a tropical storm, potentially even a strong tropical storm or potentially even a low grade hurricane uh, over the next couple of days. This is expected to eventually move into the Western Caribbean and all of the models besides the 12Z Canadian forecast ex uh, expect this to go into the Western Caribbean. One of the reasons for that is basically this big upper level high that's going to be positioned over across the North Atlantic and this will be sending our system westward. So this is not going to allow a system to really kind of curve out like that. Now, the further east it does develop and the stronger it gets out here will kind of determine the latitude gain that it's going to be able to get before the islands. However, it does seem like that this will make at least make its way into the eastern Caribbean or parts there of the East Caribbean before they're probably heading uh, in a multitude of general directions from there at that particular point. So let's look at all these possibilities here. This is the 12Z GFS, the forecast here, valid for 2 p.m. this afternoon, the 850 millibar vorticity, or the spin in the atmosphere at about 5,000 feet off the ground. So again, right here, this is Celia over here. That's what we want to see if we're going to get a nice, well-organized storm. These darker reds and oranges indicate a higher spin at 5,000 feet, so a, a more amplified area of low pressure. We notice on the GFS, we're already starting out with a much more developed wave here than in previous runs. Again, we can kind of compare that uh, to the 18Z run from yesterday. Uh, didn't really have much, and it has started to correct itself towards a much stronger wave. So at the very least, we will probably at least have an invest. The next one will be 94L that will come out of this and uh, I, I do see that getting tagged here over the next few days. Uh, eventually, this does develop into a tropical cyclone here just beyond the five-day period. This is at hour 126. This is a pretty well-organized tropical system for June in the main development region approaching the islands at this point. The upper level environment is pretty anomalously favorable. We have generally easterly winds across this entire area helping to create uh, and evacuate air. That creates more or less so of divergence in the upper levels, convergence at the surface. There will be some shear around, uh, but for the most part, the GFS does support the idea uh, that this will be able to maintain itself. And then in the long range, this even tries to become a strong tropical storm or hurricane after crossing through the islands at this point. Now, when we talk about steering, if we jump up here to the 500 millibar heights, we notice that we're going to have a big ridge of high pressure that is going to be mainly over the southeast U.S. at this point and Florida. And that's going to really try to steer our storm generally into the Western Caribbean. 
Now on the Canadian, this is a little bit different of a forecast here. We notice that the Canadian uh, breaks down the ridge over here a little bit quicker and it's also dealing with a much stronger storm at this point heading towards kind of the Northwest like that. And it breaks down that ridge allowing latitude gain. Uh, and then if we look here at the Euro, the 12Z European forecast, kind of similar to the GFS here. Again, all of them showing a potential storm at this particular point. So again, real quick look here at the Euro. Definitely shows a well-organized storm out here at hour 168. But if we back that up here by hour 120, this is day five. And we have a storm that is going to be approaching the islands at this point. Most of the models today have switched and trended to development in the MDR rather than uh, near the islands or past the islands to the west. If we look at the GFS ensembles, again, the 12Z ensemble forecast of the GFS, we notice that there is a pretty large clustering of storms just beyond the five-day period. This is our 132 by about 8 p.m. on Tuesday. So this is next Tuesday, June 29th we have what could be a storm that is approaching or on top of the island chain already. Again, the most likely point right now that I'd be really trying to hone in on would be like Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, some of the southern parts of the island chain here, and even Barbados for that matter. If we look at the European ensembles from last night's run, uh, we notice kind of much of a similar type thing. Again, kind of this spread between Trinidad, Tobago, all the way kind of up here, the island chain. The northern island chain seems to be spared from this, but we do know that the CMC does try to take it on that more northerly path. So we'll have to continue to monitor if that will end up happening. But either way, it sure, sure looks like that we will have a storm in this environment. There will be some pretty favorable upper level shear, uh, pretty favorable moisture content in the atmosphere. And the sea surface temperatures, uh, even at this time, are, are very warm as well. We noticed that based on the coral reef, our temperatures here are right around about 28 Celsius across most of the you know Western Caribbean. And even in the main development region, we have water temperatures in the low, you know, kind of the lower latitudes here uh, that are about 28 to 29 Celsius expected where the system will be kind of riding through over the next several days. And then even into the Caribbean, once we get into there, we have some pretty uh, rich sea surface temperatures, pretty rich moisture and plenty of upper ocean heat content for the system to work with. It definitely seems to suggest right now uh, that once this gets into the Caribbean, if the environment is not too unfavorable because there will be increasing trade winds, which could prevent a storm from fully closing off in the Caribbean. But if the trade winds are light enough, the shear pattern looks amazingly favorable uh, for this time of the year, very much so anomalous and certainly is kind of a concerning look because that definitely paves way for what could be happening later in the season. And uh, that's certainly not what we kind of want to want to hear, but uh, I think that's kind of what needs to be said at this point. So uh, again, bottom line is we could be having a storm that is approaching the island chain here by sometime early to mid next week. Again, system here will be dubbed Invest 94L. We'll be tracking across the main development region and potentially then heading into the Caribbean. Long-term future is pretty uncertain at this point. Uh, once this gets into the Caribbean, there is certainly a multitude of possibilities uh, from as much as a storm completely dying uh, to potentially a, a an intensifying hurricane in this region. So we're going to have a lot to watch over the next couple of days. But again, I'll be on top of everything. And for right now, of course, I am Mike Romali, and I'll talk to you guys again some more tomorrow.